myself, cause these niggas, yes, man. Hey, bitch, I'm all my social bad man. Hey, no, I got my Smith and West in. Hey, that be my illegal weapon. Hey. YouTube, it's the great Pedro here, back again with some more WWE with another video, guys. It's been about almost two weeks since I came with the video. If you guys didn't know, always follow me on Twitter. You guys will know why I'm not uploading, why, what's happening, but I've just been busy doing scholarships and stuff. Been chilling back lately, you know, been in the cut, been chilling, but I'm here with this WWE 2K15. I'm playing with my homie. If y'all watch regular day stream, if y'all watch his videos, the regulars, my fa my fellow regular GSC time, aka Marcus Brown, aka that shooter, that nigga right there. So go ahead, check out his uh, Twitter and his YouTube. I will leave that in the description below. He's just an up and coming YouTube. He just started YouTube, I believe, about two or three weeks ago. So go ahead, check him out. Give him some subs and let him know that I sent you guys. And I will leave you guys a reminder at the end. So he's Randy Orton. I'm Booker T. Moon. It's online friendly. Right here, he's doing the title. Let's get into this commentary. And this is one of the best endings ever. Keep in mind, I haven't played WWE in about three months. Remember that. So I'll see, see him getting me with the tie up. I'm trying to get out of that, but no, he is still locking me up. And then he just keeps hitting me in my back, twisting my arm like, bro, get off me. So I'm like, bro, get off me. So eventually he does get off me, pushes me off. This with that punch. And it, playing this online match like, reminded me that this is 2K servers. The response time sucked. And that 2K needs to fix this shit. So look at him just keep kicking me. Look at this, I can't even counter it. Can't even counter. Finally, I do get a counter in. He tries to do a running uh close line, but look at that. How did Randy Orton stop on a dime? But it's okay. He gets him with a neck breaker again. This is all friendly. This is all content. Look at Randy Orton going at the ring. What is he about to get? Is he about to get a chair? Is he about to get a slam chair? But he gets the kendo stick and hits me right in my ribs, right in my kidneys. Hit me in the back of my dread. Hits me on my back and in my spine all over. Then he just throws it down, kicks me, but I counter. Right here, I hit him with one punch. Hit him with that knife edge, chop him with the Ric Flair, woo! Back to back times, so I throw him in the ring. Later on in the match, I pick up the candlestick, I hit him in the back of the ribs, give him a taste of his own medicine, keep hitting him, and I'm gonna keep doing that, man, and I'm gonna like, you know what, again, you know what, I'm, I had enough, I don't know, I'm satisfied. That's what I'm gonna keep saying, that's what I was saying the whole time, I'm like, you know what, I'm satisfied. So I get him, twist him, clothesline, nice clothesline on the concrete, look at my boy Booker T and I say, you know what, let's not be done with the weapons this is Wrestlemania, we gotta get the crowd what they want and I'ma hit him with the steel chair hit him with the steel chair hit him with the steel chair, let's go one more time for good measure too, man Oh man, this game is actually kind of fun if you don't take it seriously, but I wish the response times were better. So he gets me with a nice little neck breaker again. We both had signatures. I knew this was coming. I tried to counter and look at Randy Warren with the stop on my left leg. Oh, my right leg. Y'all already know the right arm's next, and then y'all already know the face is next, and he has his finisher now. Keep in mind, I will burst that kick right there. Before he can do a quick RKO, I'm like, you know what? The RKO was deadly. I know it comes out of nowhere. So picking him up, trying to do my old signature. Doing with the Alabama slammer. Let's go. Right here, I'm walking around like, not lip. I was thinking about doing a, a what you call it? What's the little finish you call? You go out the round thing. It's called like a jump finisher or whatever. I forget what's called. But I said, let me do a charge finisher and get him with the book in. The book in. And it looks like it's going to be all over. Right here, I was like, how do I do the spinning Rooney? I said, okay, that's. And then, hey, that's how I do the spinning Rooney. Spinning Rooney, I'm like, it's all over. Right here, one, two, and. I'm not satisfied. I'm not satisfied yet. So later on in the match, he picks up another Kendo stick. I get in the ring. We're both tired. He throws it at my back. He gets it. I smack him when he comes into the ring. I'm going to throw him against these ropes. I'm going to hit him with the... I'm, gonna, I'm trying to hit him with the scissors kick. So right here. Look at me. Burn him into the top rope. Right here, we're going to have a superplex. Look at this. Yes, sir. We're setting him up. Getting him ready. We're coming up there. We're going to have a nice superplex. 
Look at Booker T trying to bring the house down to WrestleMania, you guys. Let's go. We are too hyped right now. Booker T to the top ropes. Can he finish him off? Can he finish him off? He's going to get to the top rope. And I have done commentary for this video. Subscribe, like, comment, and check him out. And I done fucked up at this point. He rolled through it the second time. And oh my God! Begins again. Oh, look out, Randy! And oh, Randy on the RKO! Get him up out of nowhere! Get him out of nowhere! Oh, oh, oh. Revolution wins it!